Good morning students. Today's class we will see about the emergency obstetric care. Maternal mortality remains one of the most daunting health challenges in our country and reduction in the same has been one of the focus areas of work. One of the key contributing factors for this situation is the lack of skills among rural general doctors and medical officers in primary health care system to provide high quality emergency obstetric care EMOC and MTP services. Emergency obstetric care it is an emergency care provided to treat and therefore save the life of a woman experiencing complication of pregnancy or childbirth. Facilities for on by basic emergency obstetric care. BMOC aims to avoid death and disability among pregnant women and newborn babies. BMOC refers to functions that can be provided by a team of experienced and trained skilled staff. Type of emergency obstetric care can be divided into two basic emergency obstetric care and comprehensive emergency obstetric care. That means basic emergency parental ox antibiotics, parental oxytocin drug, administer parental anticonvulsants for preeclampsia and eclampsia, perform manual removal of placenta, perform manual removal of retained products by manual vacuum aspiration, perform assisted vaginal delivery. Comprehensive include all these six plus seven perform surgery and perform a blood transfusion. To avoid death and disability, we need to ensure that women have access to emergency obstetric care. How we can improve the access to emergency obstetric care? By making sure the health facilities provide the service needed to save the woman's life. The eight key functions or the signal facilities ability to provide EMOC. The key functions are the eight key functions. The six the, the, the first six functions are provided by the basic emergency obstetric care and the two comprehensive um, is again provided by the comprehensive emergency obstetric care. Basic and comprehensive EMO facilities. Antibiotics, oxytocin, anticonvulsants, manual removal of placenta, removal of retained products by manual vacuum aspiration, assisted vaginal delivery and surgery that is cesarean section and blood transfusion. Continue our care from mother to newborn from means emergency obstetric care to emergency obstetric and newborn care from community to facility MCS centers under NRHM level 1 that means 24 into 7 24 hours in a day and 7 hours, seven days in a week. Level 2 is a BEMOC and level 3 is comprehensive emergency obstetric and newborn care. The good news, not all these functions need hospitals and doctors, well-trained nurses and midwives can perform most functions of the basic emergency obstetric care facility, an important point for the resource in the poor areas. How can we tell we are making the difference if we know we have provided enough EMOC and if we know that these services are being used by the women suffering from obstetric complications, we can be confident that we are saving the women's lives. How do we know which woman will experience the complications? We won't know. But we do know that any population of pregnant women, at least 50% of will experience an obstetric complication. This is true of a pregnant woman in the US and Europe as of a woman in Africa, Asia and Latin America. Nobody knows why this happened. In fact, it is a, it means it is a fact of life. Can we really tell if the services are functioning and we are used? In 1991, United Nations Children's Fund or UNICEF and Columbia University developed six process indications to do, to do just that. These were issued by UNICEF, WHO, United Nations Population Fund in 1997. Guidelines for monitoring availability and use of obstetric services. The, the, it is known as the process indicators. In general, process indicators show you changes in the conditions that lead to an outcome. The six process indicators tells about the access to access to utilization quality of emergency obstetric services. The emergency obstetric process indicators are for every five lakh population there should be at least comprehensive emergency obstetric facility and four basic EMOC facilities should be there. Geographical distribution of emergency obstetric facilities should be well distributed to serve 5 lakh people. Proportion of all birth in emergency obstetric care facility, at least 50% of all birth in a community should take place in the EMOC facilities. Met need for the EMOC services, at least 100% of women estimated to have obstetric complications should be treated in the EMOC centers. So in sections as a percentage of all birth, the minimum 55%, maximum 15%. Case fatality rate, proportion of a woman with obstetric complications are facility who die maximum acceptable level is one percentage 
indicator 1 for every 5 lakh population there should be at least one comprehensive emergency obstetric and for basic emergency obstetric facility indicated to a geographical distribution emoc for service should be well distributed to serve 5 lakh people minimum one comprehensive and four basic emoc facilities Indicator 3, proportion of all birth in EMOC, for at least 15 percentage of all birth in the community should take place in the EMOC facilities. Met need for the EMOC, at least 100 percentage of women estimated to have obstetric complications should be treated in the EMOC facility. Serine section, percentage of all birth, minimum 5 percentage, maximum it is 15 percentage. Indicator 6, case fatality rate, proportion of a woman with obstetric complication attended to a facility who die, maximum acceptance level is 1%. Calculating of all 6 indicators gives you an indication of what, where the problem lies and where the action is needed. Also, these indicators are sensitive to change within months you can know if your project is making a difference. So access to EMOC, the problems indicate that's the indicator of one show you need for more facilities. That's the indicator two show you need better distributed of EMOC facilities. Most countries already have enough facilities, they just need to upgrade service to ensure comprehensive, one comprehensive and four basic EMOC facilities per five lakh population. Utilization of EMOC, that's the indicator. Three shows the birth in your EMOC facilities are fewer than 50% of birth in the population. Does the indicator show met the need less than 100%? That is not all women who experience obstetric complications are using EMOC facility. Collect more information first. Do you have enough qualified staff? Do you need trained staff for management of emergency obstetric complications? Does the hospital management need improvement? What is the supply situations like? What is the equipment situation like? All these above are in place. Conduct focus groups in the community to find out why women are not coming for the care. Quality of EMOC. First problem, indicator 6 showed that more than 1% of women treated for obstetric complications are dying at your EMOC facilities. Find out your EMOC facilities are really functioning. Check the staff numbers, skills, management, capacities, supplies and equipment. Emergency obstetric services, that routine emergency care for the woman, newborn during pregnancy and labor day, comprehensive is managing complications of pregnancy, assist, assisting childbirth, C-sections, including blood transfusion. Thank you.